Congratulations for the movie. Thank you. Uh, can we talk us a little bit about it? Uh, can I tell you a little bit about the movie? Uh, well, the movie's called The Forgiven, so it's a movie about forgiveness. It's a movie that tests our limits of forgiveness, I think, as an audience, although I think audiences find they get engaged and involved in the, in the process. Uh, it's about events that happened in South Africa not that long ago, events that were of world importance. Uh, the film could also be seen as a story about the fact that we all need forgiveness and that giving forgiveness is a wonderful thing to do and it's it's heroic and it's human. Um, when I was making the film, which is about the peace and, and uh, truth and reconciliation commission in South Africa, which had to investigate basically the crimes that have been committed against black South Africans, uh, by some black South Africans as well. Um, but the idea was that it is not, it doesn't vilify anybody. It tries to treat everybody as a human being and say that everything that happened happens out of some inner cause. And it's not that some people are irredeemably evil, it's that our job is to find the human being inside everybody. And that, in a sense, is what the movie is about. Very interesting. Um, how do you prepare for it? And did you have any other film in mind or any other material in mind? Well, I wouldn't... Uh, there are no other films quite like this, I don't think. It, it was part of the core of the film came from a stage play, a rather good stage play written by Michael Ashton. And then we had to rewrite an enormous amount of it because there were many other things happen when you're making a film. Um, although those core elements remain. I read a huge amount. I interviewed lots of people. I, we made the film in South Africa, so I had time to research it. I, I made a trip to South Africa to talk to people and find out what was going on and listen to all sides of the equation, really, and find out for myself what I felt this movie should address in the way that it addresses it. Remembering it's a movie about forgiveness. It's not a movie about the enemy who has to be finger-wagged. It's saying, no, things that happen in this movie are shocking. But as you watch the movie, you'll begin to relate to what's going on, and that's so important because we've been so taught that the world is kind of good and bad, black hat, white hat, and to coin a rather bad phrase. I don't want to say black and white. But um, that, of course, is nonsense. There are many, many shades of coloration in between that. And the worst thing we can do is to make victims and make victims out of villains or villains out of victims. That's not what... That's not the way forward in life. And we all need to find this way forward. America as much as anywhere else, maybe more than some places. You have such an amazing cast in this movie. How did you uh, chose them to make it such a compassionate you know, approach well, to this problem? Well, um, you have to look at the body of the actor's work and then talk to the actor about what they feel the film is about. And of course you can sense very quickly from their response to the screenplay what they're going to bring to it. And certainly Eric and, and Forrest Whitaker are both brilliantly talented men and they made my job a lot easier. Um, remember, some of the people we work with are actual prisoners. So we worked in a real prison, a, a working prison, by the way. So we could hear real prisoners shouting and yelling and doing all the things they have to do. But our cast who play the black prisoners in the prison and some of the white prisoners are actually were prisoners, some of whom have been serving 10-year sentences. So for them, this was an extraordinary journey because suddenly they had a chance to be in workshops and discuss what it was like and what it was like being in prison and what happened to them. And a lot of the wisdom, I think, that comes out of the film comes out of their experience. And I think they felt honored by the fact that we were all working together and they never felt judged. And I think the audience won't judge them either. They'll be learning things and experiencing. And one last thing. Uh, we're huge fans of the mission. What do you remember from shooting it? Oh, so much. I mean, it was a, a seminal experience. So making a film is like having children, uh, and you care for a film even years later, much as you do for your children. Uh, the thing about a film, the thing about a child is they grow up. The thing about a movie, it doesn't grow up, but you do. So, of course, one looks at it in a slightly different way. But I remember, again, the being in Colombia and experiencing what was going on in Colombia. FARC was very strong in those days. They're often on the way to the set, there'd be corpses. Um, we had to deal with the fact that there was a kind of anti-indigenous and anti-indigenous um, population feeling, and we had to deal with that as well. So a lot of what we were dealing with felt very modern. The Wanana tribe, who uh, gave so much in the movie, have been nearly annihilated. 
recently. I mean, I went back to Colombia and tried to find the few members of the tribe that are left. So these things don't go away. You know, they, they come up and that's why they need to be spoken about. But they need to be spoken about with a sense of humanity for all sides. There's no point in picking enemies and shouting at them. You have to find a way of opening everybody's hearts. And the mission was an extraordinary film to make. I was very lucky to make it, really. Thank you very much. Thank you.